the way to get good at something is to practice it a lot. And the best way to practice it a lot is to make it a habit to figure out some kind of a system that will integrate whatever it is you want to learn into your life easily, as easily as brushing your teeth or going to bed or all the other things that we do every day. And that's particularly true of drawing, that the best way to get better at drawing or the best way to get better at writing or the best way to get better at write, at playing a musical instrument is to do it on the reg and to make it less painful by making it just a system, going to the gym. Um, speaking of going to the gym, I'm not always great at getting exercise on a regular basis until I set it up as a habit. Like, for instance, I walk my dog three miles every morning because I get out of bed and I put on a leash and we go for a walk. So it's a habit that, you know, if I didn't do that, I would feel really weird at this point. It'd be like, again, not brushing my teeth or not, I don't know, I would say brushing my hair, but that's not, clearly not the issue. So this week I wanted to talk to you about an essay I've written about the whole issue of making things into a habit and how do you stick to it and what happens if you don't stick to it? How do you deal with that, with the, the problems that can come from breaking a pledge that you've made to yourself and what you should do about it? So this is an essay that, as I've, as I've told you before, I write an essay every week. It's free. You can get it. I'll email it to you, but um, this is one that I thought was one I wanted to share here on YouTube with you too. And it is called Black and White Habits. They're not just for nuns. Dad joke. On January 1st, I began a new regimen, riding my exercise bike each morning to get back in shape. And I was adamant that I would do this every single day. And this is typical of me, all or nothing. Of course, I faltered about 10 days in, and by the end of the month, I'd given up altogether. Clearly, I have a tendency to black and whiteness, not just in my sketchbooks. But as I grow older, I'm working to be more nuanced in my decisions and my commitments. I'm planning to start up a gym regimen soon, and now that the light seems to be at the end of the pandemic tunnel, and I'm resolved to be less crazy this time, trying to stay committed without needing to be committed. I'm not a slave driver anymore. And if I skip a day here and there, I don't let it break my commitment to myself and to my health. I just go the following day instead, and I keep going. My goal is moderation, to exercise and to draw more often than I don't. If I, don't miss, if I miss a day, okay, but I'll try not to miss two. And that's a simple and tempered rule. Drawing on my sketchbook is another one of my healthy habits. At times over the years, I've insisted on a strict reg regimen, like drawing every morning before breakfast, or filling a whole sketchbook in a month, or on a week's vacation. Pushing myself to draw, whether I want to or not, eventually makes me want to. It also means I make a lot of lackluster pages on the way to falling back in love with my book and my pen. There have been times when, overtaken by the stress of work and other commitments, I've fallen completely out of practice and eventually forgotten how much fun drawing can be and how important it is in helping me to stay relatively sane. But I can recommit. Like the old joke says, it's easy to quit smoking. I've done it a hundred times. Still, I don't have a drawing trainer, and there are no steroids I can take to make me get instant results. Drawing just takes practice and patience and commitment, and the more I do it, the better I get and the more I want to draw. Drawing depends on muscles, too, and if I don't use them, they atrophy quickly. Within a couple of weeks of breaking my habit, my ability to draw, well, suffers quite a lot. Fortunately, picking up the pen brings those muscles back pretty quickly, and they don't forget all that they've learned over the years. There are incentives I can give myself to keep going, even if the monkey in my head urges me to just sleep in or watch TV. The schoolyard here at Sketchbook School is one of them, and my desire to make posting there on a regular basis can push me to do a drawing when I feel lazy or embarrassed that I'm not doing as much as I tell everybody else to, that I do. The same is true of Draw With Me, with my weekly YouTube series and my weekly essays on Danny's Essays. Another great incentive is art. Visiting a museum or its website 
rereading a great book on illustrated journaling or watercoloring, spending some time with the work of artists I love, even on Instagram, uh, talking to an inspiring friend, going back through an illustrated journal that I filled years ago. Another carrot is to give myself an assignment, like drawing every tree on my block or drawing the cars I'd like to drive or drawing from my collection of mugshots, drawing what I'm doing every day for an entire day. Drawing what I'm doing, sorry, drawing what I'm doing every hour for an entire day. We have a long list of drawing prompts in the schoolyard, which is another favorite way to get my gear gears rolling and to make me want to start again. Or I'll dip into the Spark membership library and pull out something at random to inspire me to get, get moving. My sketchbook is a forgiving companion. It doesn't wonder, wonder whether I've it doesn't wonder where I've been or chastise me for the gaps in its pages. It always welcomes me back with, with, with open pages, and I'm grateful for its friendship. Just as exercise keeps me healthy and energized, so does keeping up my art. Soon I'll be back at the gym and thin and wiry and rippling with new muscles, and then the most developed ones of all will be in my right wrist and my fingers, bulging as they choke the life out of my pen and squeeze every drop of ink onto its pages. Arr, grr, grr, grunt. Don't squeeze your pen. <laughs> that was just hyperbole, but that was my essay. That was this week's thoughts about drawing as a habit. Um, if you would like to form more of a habit, I hope you'll join me on Draw With Me every Thursday. It doesn't matter if you've never drawn before. It'll be fun. We just do stuff and the results vary, but the fun is always there. Uh, and meanwhile, again, subscribe to Danny's Essays. I will give you some things to think about every Friday, and it won't cost you a dime. It'll just mean one more email in your email box, and hopefully one that's that you like. A lot of people tell me that they don't subscribe to any other newsletters, but they do subscribe to mine because they like it and find it useful. Maybe you will too. Thanks very much, and I'll see you maybe this Thursday on Draw With Me. Bye-bye.